Welcome back, Calvary Chapel Hemet family. We're so glad that you can be here for this morning's devotion. Let's open up in prayer and then we'll jump into the word. Lord, we thank you for your word that you give to us, that you want us to know you. Thank you um, that you know us deeper than anyone. And I pray that as we look at a couple of your verses this morning, that you would give us um, wisdom, comfort our hearts, and remind us to keep praising you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, this morning we're going to be in Psalms 59. Do you ever have a trial that just seems to take the wind from your sails, take all your energy, um, to take your joy and your peace? I think we all have struggles that test our faith, that um, test our patience, and just kind of get us down. Um, and when that happens, it's really easy for us to let our focus shift from God onto our troubles, onto how it's affecting me and what a burden it is on me, rather than keeping our eyes on God, on Christ, on his goodness, on his love. Um, and Psalms 59 verses 16 to 17 reminds us what to do when we're tempted to let our focus drift from God um, when we're in times of trial. Um, and Psalm 59 verses 16 and 17 say, But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you. For you, O oh God, are my fortress, the love who shows me steadfast love, or the God who shows me steadfast love. And what does it say to do right off the bat in verse 16? To sing. To sing what? God's praises. Um, to sing of God's strength and his steadfast love. And then when? Even gives us direction when. First thing, first thing in the morning. Uh, it says, I'll sing of your strength. I'll sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. And tells us why. Because he's been a strength, a, re a refuge. He's, um, he's our stronghold. Um, so it, it's, I think it's really, really neat gives us um, insight into how to start our day. When we're having struggles, start your day with praising the Lord. Sing of his, uh, his good works, of his steadfast love for us, of his strength. Um, he's our strength, he's our fortress, and he loves us best, right? Um, why do you think we're instructed to sing? Uh, why do we sing? When we sing praises, it exalts and glorifies God but it also reminds us of who he is, of his goodness, of his love, of his mighty works, um, of his faithfulness. We're told here of his steadfast love. Um, he's our fortress, our steadfast love. When we sing praises, it reminds us of God's attributes. Not only is it a sweet sound to the Lord, but it's sweet and refreshing to our soul too. When we focus on those words, um, and what they mean, who God is, what they mean to us, who he is to us. Um, it brings our focus back onto Christ, back onto God and, and his attributes rather than on our struggles and um, the difficult times that we're having. And so when you're tempted to focus on your circumstances, choose instead to praise him. Um, verse 17 says, O oh my strength, I will sing praises to you, for you, O oh God, are my fortress the God who shows me steadfast love. So choose instead to praise God rather than to focus on whatever difficult circumstances you're going through. Start your day with praise, worship, commune with God through prayer and reading his word. Make it a conscious choice. Sometimes we have to preach to our own heart when, we're, when we don't um, remember God's goodness, we need to sing to remind ourselves, to teach ourselves. Open up the word. Sometimes it's not as easy as other times um, to jump straight into the word, but we need to do it, to teach ourselves to do it, to remind ourselves to do it. Um, so whatever struggles you're going, on, going through, put the praise music on. Uh, take a minute to think about the words. Meditate on the words that you're hearing, that you're singing, and sing to the Lord. Don't just think about it. Sing to the Lord too. Um, sing through your trials. Praise through your trials. He's steadfast. He's our fortress. He's our refuge. He's full of love and care for you. And I'll read the verses one more time because I think they're so sweet and such a great reminder. But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. 
O oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you, for you, O oh God, are my fortress, the God who shows me steadfast love. Let's pray again. Lord, we thank you for your steadfast love for us. Thank you uh, that you hear our praises. Thank you that you show us who you are. Um, and I pray that you would remind us to worship you, to praise you throughout our trials, uh, that you would teach our heart and remind our hearts who you are. And we thank you and we love you. Thank you for your steadfast love for us. In Jesus' name, amen.